What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Richie Ray, RPL TV, and this is day six episode. I'm relax and take notes. notes. Listen, guys, I'm gonna jump into the importance of being extremely aware and grateful to be alive in 2024. Every day we live, some of us don't even know. We're so stuck in our in our regular lives, so stuck in in what we're gonna do next today and what uh, needs to be accomplished uh, this morning or this day and this week that we forget the the beautiful mercies that god gives us every morning and how important it is that no matter what you're going through <clears throat> that you could count <clears throat> excuse me that you could count your blessings and you could see god's life and his love in you and through you and around you um, i'm learning that right now if most of you guys don't know I have a shoulder injury and I'm, we're going to jump into the word. We're actually going to be reading Job uh, real quick. Just a tiny uh, scripture that has been speaking to me a lot, but I wanted you guys to get the quick update. I should be getting surgery this week. Um, uh, we went from Advent Health and switched over to Orlando Health and they have been taking care of me. And, and what I do have is a little severe. So if you guys could just keep the doctors in prayer, keep me in prayer. I have a hard time sleeping and sometimes I get in my head and, you know, I know God is really challenging me to do these Bible devotions for you guys. So I want to be strong. I want to be courageous. I want to be fearless. And, and, and yo, anyways, with all that being said, man, I'm blessed to have you guys on. Uh, keep my shoulder in prayer. I believe everything's going to be a-okay. Uh, just come with me together to pray over these doctors to have a successful surgery. With that being said, man, this ties into what I'm reading today, which is going to be Job chapter 14, uh, verse 5. <clears throat> it says here, Job says, man's days are determined. You have decreed the number of his months and have set limits he cannot exceed. So look away from him and let him alone. So he has put his time like a hired man. God knows the number of days we have. And sometimes that's really scary because you could be someone extremely healthy and extremely good shape and something tragic could happen to you. Do we know why these things happen? Not all the time. It could be logical. It could just be because God has simply numbered our days. Can you be living an unhealthy life and find the grace of God and get sick and have this amazing you know, awakening and go get your life right and be healthy and try to live the longest life you can? Yes, and God still numbers your days. And as I'm going through this this uh, time with my injury, the reason I'm sharing is because it's really speaking to me like the value of of being grateful, man. You know, like, you know, every every time I think about my shoulder, I'm thinking about like the worst case scenario and all these things. And just want to encourage someone out there, you know, like I'm walking this with you. But one thing I'm learning is is really being grateful for our lives because God really and truly has numbered your life. No matter what you're going through, no matter where you've been or where you're going to go or who left your life or who came into your life or the good blessings or the bad blessings, God loves you, but God also has numbered your days. And to me that, you know, as I'm walking through this process, man, I have this like extreme joy in my mind of like what the ending result is going to be once my shoulders back to normal. And as of right now, I'm challenging myself to be joyful. But the reason why I could feel, sense that joy so much because I built a new gratitude when I went to the hospital and I realized that there was people in a worse situation than I was. Yeah, I'm over here with my injury, but little do I know I'm finding out that in the next room, someone just got rushed in a, a car accident that almost nearly killed them. They have like five doctors around them, like a bunch of surgeons rushing to the room to, to see what's going on. And, you know, sometimes you got to go through these things like, you know, the Bible talks about Jesus pruning the branches and that Jesus is looking out for the ones that he loves when he challenges them and he prunes them, you know, and pruning on a plant is obviously cutting off and it, pruning could be painful. Right. But in this time, when I when I went to William McDowell's church this Sunday, by the way, he's one of my favorite worship leaders that became a pastor in Orlando. It's insane to me that he started preaching about health. And how that in church, they have prayed for miracles and healings. But sometimes these healings and these prayers come from a place of stuff that we've done to our own selves. And so now we need God to heal us because of things that we could have controlled. And it wakes me up so much, guys. If you guys go back to the first devotion of the year, it was about Jesus going in favor with God, man, a wisdom, and good health. 
And for some reason, I was battling on day one when I was doing these devotions that maybe this wasn't the right word for the for you guys. Maybe this wasn't like something that God wanted me to share, even though it's God's word. Just maybe it was like something I just picked up and just just uh, wanted to share. It. And then as I was going through the weeks, God started revealing to me, man, you got to watch day one through day five and the different topics and scriptures that I was going through because they just been aligning up to the point where I go to church Sunday and what Pastor Wayne McDowell is speaking about taking care of your health so that doing God's purpose could be more effective and not and also not be so difficult to get through because we're not taking care of our health. And so I want to encourage someone out there, man, like don't do not give up on where you're at right now. God has not given up on you. God loves you and he wants to take care of you. But the thing is, is that sometimes in our mindset, we're living in this negative, fearful Mindset. When did I mention that God built us with a spirit of power to love, love people, love ourselves, love God, and self-discipline? And and man, like, I just want to speak to somebody right now. You're going to be okay. And I pray in the name of Jesus, anybody dealing with sickness right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you heal them. Right now, Lord, where they're standing, God, I send a prayer to them right now in their arm, God, in their legs. God, in their eyes, in their ears, in their mind, people that are going through depression, I bind depression. In Jesus' name, I take it out. And we surrender, Lord, our lives. We surrender who we are to you. We surrender every decision because we know, Lord, that you are even in the small decisions. And so right now, I'm lifting up my family, my grandma who's sick of cancer, my mom who's taking care of her. I'm lifting up friends People that are just struggling with with their with people that have been dealing with sickness and and health way longer than I have, Lord. There's people out there that have been dealing with this since they were a child, God. People that are living paralyzed, Lord. I pray over the paralyzed in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Even if you never change their situation, that you, Lord, that you, Lord, could could be with them. And the Lord is saying right now, anybody who's dealing <clears throat> with being paralyzed. In the mighty name of Jesus, I send the fire I send to their body that the Lord does want to heal you. The Lord does want to touch you. And anybody listening right now that knows somebody, in the name of Jesus, I pray over them. And if you join me right now, we pray over them. Amen. And I feel like in my heart right now, anybody watching, I feel like the Lord is leading me to tell you to pick up your phone and go call that person right now. Anybody that's sick, especially those that are dealing with being paralyzed, pick up that phone and go pray for them right now. God's not asking you to be a perfect Christian. God's not asking you to have all your ducks in a row. What God is asking you right now is to, to go and show love to that person and show love through the power of the Holy Spirit that you're not living in a fearful mindset, that you're disciplined, that when the Lord says to go, that you go. When the Lord says to do something, you do something, that you are self-disciplined to know that when Jesus says go, you go. I feel that in my heart, man. It's hard, man. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> you know, with this situation I'm going through, uh, it's hard to admit, but it's probably the best for me. Ever since I started RPLT, RPL TV, Relax and Take Notes, I've been motivated and driven to speak to you guys. I've been praying more. I've been worshiping more. And though I was trying to pray and worship more before, uh, God has definitely convicted me to a new level. And I'm, I'm sharing that with you guys because anybody out there that's, that's listening, you know, I want to read the word with you. I also want you. I also want you to know, man, that, that I'm not perfect. Your pastors and preachers and people that are trying to, you know, your parents, your mom and dad, nobody's perfect, guys. And I, and I also want to pray, you know, for you guys to have grace over each other. Uh, you know, in this time that we have understanding of one another uh, in this time that we're, you know, something more, more bigger than a miracle and healing is be able to talk to somebody that you're scared to talk to, being able to talk to someone that maybe had trouble forgiving. Uh, I think sometimes in life, you know, like the power of the tongue is life and death. And some of us just need to have those tough conversations this year. You know, I mentioned that, you know, God has our days numbered. Uh, Cause you never know, man. You never know what could happen to you. You never know what happens to that other person. You just never know 
what they're what people are going through and you never know when you're gonna die you never know when you're gonna pass and though my shoulder feels like the end of the world and you know i'll be able to in jesus name you know god willing i get my surgery um and i go through my therapy you know there's a sense of of humility in my life now that I, i'm sure I, I wanted to share with you guys that's like wow like is this situation could have been worse your situation could be worse uh and we're alive, guys, and we're here. And one thing that my pastor said that spoke to me is that we're, we are purposed. We are, we are purpose wrapped in a body. And just like, just like Job says here, man. And, and, you know, I'm sorry for not breaking down the scriptures more. But Job 14, you know, verse 5. You know, this is Job, a story about a man who was extremely rich and wealthy and had everything in the world. And then one day it was all stripped from him. It was taken away from him. His kids died. He got sick. His friends uh, didn't understand what he was going through. I need someone needs to under, hear that today. His friends didn't understand what he was going through. Best friends, close friends, friends he trust. Only God could come through in this situation, guys. Some of us are in a situation only God can come through. And Job said, "Man's days are determined. You have decreed the number of his months and have set limits. He cannot exceed." And there's no running away, guys, from the day that the Lord has for us. But while we're here, live with power, live with love, live with self-discipline, pray for somebody. I believe in this time, you don't need to be a perfect Christian and have all your ducks in a row. Pray for somebody. Pray, guys. Read your scriptures. That's why I'm doing RPL TV. Relax and take notes. I don't mean to end on a, you know, kind of a, uh, you know, maybe morbid, uh, topic, but sometimes in order to open up our eyes and appreciate, we have to go there, guys. So I love y'all, man. Um, I believe in y'all. Please DM, uh, text message, comment, uh, something. Show, uh, tell me that you're there listening, man. Um, comment, subscribe, share with the friend. I love y'all. I love y'all. Still dropping music videos. Also, tax season's here. So if you need your taxes done, I just helped somebody. I just helped a friend that got fifty dollars, $35 last year. Yeah, $35 on their tax return. I said, hey, keep your options open. We're here to support and help families, especially those in the middle class that don't understand taxes, that run a turbo and Jackson Hewitt and just plug in numbers, don't know nothing. And I helped her get $500. Yeah, $35 last year. And she's able to be blessed with 500 So that's a quick testimony I want to share with y'all. Love y'all. Again, message me. Let me know. I'm here to help. RPL TV, your boy Richie Ray. Pray for me, guys. I'm going to surgery soon. Relax and take notes.